Hi guys, I am Rishad Shah from Tally School and in this video we are going to look at the fourth part of cost centers in Tally. If you have not watched the first three parts, I highly recommend you watch the first three parts because all the four parts are related together with a single example and if you watch all the four parts, you will know cost centers in Tally. 100% everything about cost centers in Tally you will know. So today we are going to look at predefined cost center allocations in this part. In the previous part we looked at cost centers and categories for payment. If before that we looked at cost centers in purchase and sales voucher and before that we looked at how to create and enable and create cost centers in Tally. So in this video, we are going to look at predefined cost center allocations in transactions in Tally. What this in a simple words means that when you create an entry, let's say for expenses or for sales and you use cost centers, predefined cost center allocation will automatically allocate a certain amount, a certain percentage of the amount to a certain cost center so let's continue with the example that we had taken so in this example we had two cost centers Surat and Mumbai but if we take the example further we create another cost center called Kutch which is a place in Gujarat so what we will do is we will use predefined cost center locations in transactions so second example that is what I am talking about. If there is another location in Gujarat as cuts and manufacturing expenses are 60 and 40 percent respectively. So 60 percent in Surat, 40 percent in cuts. What we will do is we will predefine this percentage in another class. It is called cost center class and then we will use that in our transaction. So let's say the amount is 1 lakh rupees and we have predefined it 60 and 40 60 percent to surat 40 percent to kutch so let me show you how you can do that in tally what this will do is this will automatically allocate 60 percent to surat and 40 percent to kutch you already know how to create cost centers in tally so i am not going to show you how to create the kutch cost center because if you want to know then go to the example of the first video you will know there now what we will do is we will go and create cost center classes in tally and it is very easy to create cost center classes you just have to go to features here then select inventory features and press enter now okay we have to go to accounting features to see the cost profit center management and there you will see use predefined cost center locations in transactions so come here press yes or type y and press enter so as soon as you press enter you will see a screen like this once you see the screen like this you can type in the class name i have written it 60 40 so i know that 60 percent and 40 percent you can name it anything as you like so i am just going with 60 40 then select the cost category in our case it is gujarat press enter now select the cost centers that you want to divide so kutch 40 percent i have selected from the list and type in the percentage now surat which i have selected from the here and type in 60 percent so what we have done is given 40 percent ratio to kutch and 60 percent to surat Similarly, you can give different ratios to different cost centers. There is no limit. You can give 10% to 10 different cost centers or 50% to two different cost centers like that. What this will do is it will divide the expenses or the sales or whatever you do with this cost center class in 40% Kutch and 60% Surat. Automatically, you do not have to do anything. You have to just select 60-40 in the transaction that's it and then press enter select end of the list here and you came back now click on accept to save the cost center class 
so we have saved the cost center classes now we will do the entry for manufacturing expenses of 1 lakh so for that you have to go to the payment voucher in tally for that you can go to accounting vouchers here and then come into the payment voucher I have already created a new video on payment voucher as well so you can check that out now once you are in here you can see here on the top cost center classes so that is where we are going to select our cost center class so if you press enter and press again enter you will come here just type in the cost center class which is 6040 and press enter now simply create the manufacturing entry let's say manufacturing expenses that we have taken is 1 lakh so I'll type in 1 lakh press enter if it is through cash select cash account or if you are paying through bank select the bank account so for this example let's select cash and save it so right now you are not seeing anything related to the cost centers that we have selected which is Surat and Gujarat but once you pass the entry you will see the bifurcation so if I press enter the entry has been saved now if I press page up which is a shortcut to see the previous entry in tally you can see all the details so if I press page up this entry appears that we have just now passed and you can see here Kutch 40,000 and Surat 60,000 I hadn't done anything I had just put in manufacturing expenses to cash that's it and I have already created this entry but I have created one more time for you to see how actually it works in tally and this was necessary because I have if I have shown you the entry that I had done previously you will see something like this which doesn't happen you just have to enter the expenses ledger and cash or bank ledger through which you are paying other all the other work is done by tally itself so this is how the cost center allocation work in tally in which you do not have to virtually do anything all the work is done by tally you just have to do the create the cost center class and select it before passing the entry this is how actually cost center classes work in tally and it saves a lot of time so subscribe to tally school if you have liked this video if you have any questions please comment down below and i will try to make videos on it and like this video because by that way i can know that you have liked the video if you like the video actually then give a thumbs up because that is the communication between you and me via youtube if you have liked it very much then subscribe and comment down your questions suggestions because i upload a video daily on tally 5 pm in the evening and you will see the latest updates everything on tally on this channel which is called tally school also i will link down below the tally school post which i've shown you in the beginning of the video about cost centers in tally it is a pretty long post in which i have explained everything about cost centers in tally and you can go there and learn and do it in your tally step by step side by side by opening the post and tally both together so thank you for watching this video subscribe to tally school and i'll see you tomorrow in the next video